hello friends welcome back again to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how to cut your different kind of flare uh i'll be having part one and part two so if you are not subscribed before to my channel please subscribe give my video a thumbs up and the sample i'll be using today is 6.28 3.14 2 and 4 method of cutting flare so to cut the single flare single flare is 3.14 that's the formula so you simply find a triangle you see it's a sample material you take this part do for a triangle keep on looking and let it stop at this place you can see there's a triangle already then you fold it make sure this part is equal to that part So the next thing, we've got in our triangle, the next thing is to start putting our measurement on it. So make sure it's equal on your material like this. Cool. So we're going to be using waist 10 and the length of flower we're using for this dura is 6 for the single uh, flare method. So to divide, you're gonna divide your ten by three point one four, and that gives me that gives me three point one eight. So I'm gonna convert this eight to two. That gives me three point two. So I'll go here like this. So I'll go here like this from the tip up like this. I'll measure the sides. Three point two. I'm going like this 3.2 so you can see the circle is out 3.2 so I'll bring down one inch for my seam allowance at the top going like this that would be my seam allowance of my seam allowance so from here I'll start taking my measurement so the length of flare I'll be using, let's use 5, no let me use 6, 6 is the length of the flare, then I'll go here on the top like this, 6, at the end of the flare like this, 6, so I'll connect it like this, I hope you can see it over there, that will be my 6, so I'll look for Half an inch for sewing allowance this way. Another half an inch for sewing allowance. Sorry, one inch for sewing allowance at the bottom. Up here like this. So that will be my sewing allowance if you wish to sew your flare. But if you don't want to sew the tip of your flare, the bottom, you can just cut it from here. So now let's cut it out for the single flare. So first of all, I'll cut from this place. I'll cut here like this. I'll leave that, but that's my side allowance. So I'll cut the bottom of like this. So you see, we got our single flare. See, that's the single flare. 3.14 method, the single flare. So the second flare I'll be showing you is the 6.28 method. So I'll be using this material for the 6.28 method. So you simply open it like this. Let's say this is your sample material. Open it like this. Then you fold it into two. Then you fold again like this. Make sure all the both sides are equal. So now you take out your measurement from this angle, not from there. All it has to be from here. So the waist I'll be using to do is 10. 10 divided by 6.28 gives me. 
okay five by six point three gives me one point five nine so i'll convert that nine to one add it to five that gives me one point six so i'll go here like this i'll look for one point six on my tape measure this is one point five and one point six so i'll go here like this 1.6 I mark 1.6 here 1.6 here I mark so I just cover it in like this then I'll now take out one inch for strain allowance so from here is one inch for strain allowance and one inch for strain allowance and one inch for strain allowance so I connect like this so this space will be my strain allowance so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to find the length i'm going to use depending on the cho your choice you can use any length you want so for this sample i'm going to be using five so i'll go in like this i'll take five then I'll come in like this i'll take five go in like this I take five, I come up again, I take five. So I just connect all the lines together like this. Then at the bottom I'll take one inch for strain allowance. From here, one inch, from there, one inch, from there, one inch, from here, one inch. So I'll connect all the lines like this keep on connecting like this so that will be my one inch for sewing allowance so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to cut it out so i'll start my cutting from here like this then i'll go to this bottom here i'll cut this one is what people usually call double flare. Just cut, cut material, cut, cut, cut. So let me cut properly from under. So just keep on cutting. See, I finished. That one is your double flare. So if you open it up like this. You can see it's double flare that's a double flare pattern so if you want to attach you can also open up cut a straight line like this and you open this that is your double flare pattern you have in there you call it this is double flare so you can use this pattern for your blouse for anything you want to do so the next one we're going to do is the two methods so this one you open up like this the same way i folded the double flare you fold it like this Cutting flare is different method, different measurement, measurements. So you fold it up like this again. Make sure both sides are equal. Just like I did the double flare one. Then, if you want to take a cutting, take a cutting from this angle. So the waist I'll be using, the same waist is 10. Divide by 2 gives me 5. But... I'll be using a shorter length because this material is not enough. So I'll go here like this. I'll go here like this. Or let me change it to from 10. I'll make it a 6 for the waist sample. Okay. 6 divided by 2 gives me 3. That's for the 6 is the waist and divide by two gives me three so i'll go here like this this three mark up down three this 
same pattern here, the middle. Too. So I just connect the dots like this. So the same way I did the first one. Take one inch for sewing allowance. The same way I did the one, one inch for sewing allowance. And this way as well, one inch for sewing allowance. They are connected like this. Then I'll make sure the length I'll be using. I'll be using four for this tutorial. Four for the length of the flare. And four again. And four. Then one inch at the bottom for sewing allowance if you want to uh, sew the bottom of your flare. So I just connect all the dots like this. Connect it from here. And here like this as well. So you just cut it out the way you cut. I did the first one. Cut, 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 cut. So cut the bottom here like this. So when you open it up, you see you also have the same flare like this. So if you want to cut it up, you see the waist is more wider. We can use this one for for big bubble skirts. Open it up like this. You can see this is what you get using the two method what you get so now I'm going to use the four method of flare 